What's going on everyone? Everyone? Guys? I, I don't know. Do I say everyone or guys? I don't remember. Well, anyways, what's going on guys? It's Mohammed, aka RZ, back here at Buku Games, and I'm here with another devlog as per usual for Life's A Drag. Now, before we start, I just want to preface this by saying uh, we really apologize for not giving you guys more info on the demo. The main reason for that is simply that Google is taking a long time to approve the app, probably because we're a new developer, they just want to make sure everything's fine. So that process could take anywhere from three to four days to potentially eight to nine days. So we're waiting on more information from that before we can get any official, uh, I guess, word out on the demo. And we definitely want to let you guys try the game out. So uh, fingers crossed that that is there soon, but just keep an eye out on our social medias for that. Anyways, let's get to the video. In this devlog, I'm going to be going over the hint system in our game. Now our game is pretty much considered a hidden object type game, at least that's what we've classified it as, so you're gonna need some hints, especially in the harder levels, to find out where items are. And don't worry, there's not gonna be anything like microtransactions where you gotta go pay for hints or anything like that, but I just want to get into showing you the trials and tribulations that go along with creating a hint system in this type of game, at least for a newbie like me. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Over to Unity. Alright guys, so we're over here in Unity, and as you can see, the UI has changed a little bit. We have this new little light bulb thing. Obviously everything here is in production, so don't uh, take anything you see here for like finalized artwork or anything like that. But when you click yes here to get a hint, it spawns this arrow. What this arrow is supposed to do is it's supposed to spawn on top of the items, namely the keyboard in this case. And uh, if I were to go in and show you all the nitty gritty, you'll see that the keyboard actually has the arrow attached to it, but it's just not spawning in the right spot. And we can do this a million times and it's a, it will spawn arrows on every item, well, for every item, but not on every item. That's mainly because this is a UI object, which we're reusing from our tutorial, and it's annoying because the transform, or in other words, the position of the arrow it, on a UI object compared to a game object in the world is just not the same. And I don't know if that has to do with like trigonometry or some crazy math thing, but I, like I said, I really hate the UI system in Unity and it's not my cup of tea. So if anyone wants to try to help me out with that, then feel free to. Instead of worrying about trying to fix that and spending hours upon hours, I'm going to do what I do best and find a workaround. Now, everything in the game was a game object, so I figure, why don't we just make the arrow a game object, make it a sprite? And that's my solution. Now, it's not the best solution, I don't know if it's actually going to work, and I'm probably not going to animate it here because that's going to take a little bit of time. So, that's what you're going to see majority of today being, is me trying to create this hint system and make it work. Other than that, the hint system will allow you to, if you run out of hints, watch an ad, and I promise there's no other monetization beyond that. If you want to watch the ad, it's totally optional to get a free hint, and all you use is your time, and you get a hint, so there you go. Without further ado, I'm gonna go into time-lapse mode. We're gonna create the sprite, and then I'm also gonna do some coding over here to make it work, and let's see how it turns out. So I will go into time-lapse mode and enjoy some, hopefully, chill music while I do so. Let's do it.
Alright guys, so I'm back after that long time lapse of me failing the code. Uh, I had like so many things that I just slipped my mind and I'm just like, wait, how do I do this super basic thing? And I had to just go Google it real quick, but uh, we got it pretty much working. The So as you can see, if you go here, it says you have one hand remaining. Click yes, and I programmed it currently that if you have zero, you can still do it. So yes, and it'll give you the second one. Uh, I made it so that it's above them, but that's because the arrow is going to be animating like it was before, bouncing up and down, so you'll actually be able to point to it. If you drag the item, the then it goes away, which is fine because, you know, once you've picked that up, that's kind of your... You have... Uh, uh, we have to assume the player pretty much just knows what they're doing because they took that. They're like, oh, okay, here's the hint. Bam, now it's gone. As you can see now, we have no more hints, so if you don't want... If you still want to use some, you will have to try and watch an ad. Now this, I'm assuming it's because we're in the editor. The ad stuff kind of gets a little weird in the editor, so I'm gonna do a test on my phone later and make sure that this is working correctly. But essentially what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to play the ad, update the counter, and then that text is supposed to update to how many hints you have. Uh, it doesn't do it until after, see if I watch again, now it's one behind, so. It's kind of taking a bit to update it, and uh, that is not what we want. So I'm going to just make sure that that's working, but I think the code for it is correct. Oh, so I did actually notice a glitch, guys. So if you do watch the ad and come back in here and you click no, I actually have to... Oh, well, if you just click no, I have to actually make that. I'm going to fix that really quickly right here on camera for you guys, live in the mix. So as you can see, if you do uh, no here, I have to actually make it so that... It thinks the game's actually like paused, so I gotta take that out. So uh, put it in the same spot. Oops. Same spot. There we go. And as you can see now, when you click the no button, it should work. Alright, we're back in here, and now as you can see, we can click the no button and we are able to still drag stuff around. So as per usual, I hope you guys enjoyed this dev vlog. I'm really excited to show more of the game to you guys and see that everything's coming together. And again, I just want to stress it. No microtransactions in our game. That's not what we want to do here. You know, if we make future games, the most we'll probably do is something cosmetic. I would never want to do. As long as I'm the head of Buku Games and any other company I work at, uh, I'm going to make sure that microtransactions are not, are not in there because I think that they're really horrible. But that's my little PSA for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are happy with the hint system. If you feel like we can improve it in any way, um, if we can maybe make the items that need to be combined a different color, maybe the arrow instead of just blue, maybe for ones that need to be combined with something else, we make them like a different color. So that way, you know, it's not just an item you drag to, to go and uh, find it or, you know, any other suggestions out there. I'm pretty sure there are many that we can think of. And if any of you want to try to help me get it to work in terms of UI, that's also fine because I don't mind uh, that as well. But with that being said, I don't want to leave you guys too long with this ending of the video. So I'm going to end it right here. Just be sure to check our social medias back here on the YouTube channel and other places where Buku Games is going to be at. And we will ensure that we get you more information on the demo. And don't worry, anyone and everyone will be able to get a chance to play. So if you want to play Life's a Drag early and be able to brag about it to your friends or other stuff, then feel free to keep an eye on our social media. But with that being said, I've been Mohammed, aka RZ over here at Buku Games. And don't forget guys, if it's not fun, it's not worth it.